everybody welcome to my channel today we're gonna discuss about analysis of genotype in a soil experiment using the mixed effect model by considering randomized complete block design and the data set for this tutorial is uh, this one that means RT and it's composed of genotype uh, different genotypes and again here is the replication again the remaining is the response variable or the independent variables and the package that are going to use for this tutorial is the meta package that helps us to uh, create a number of uh, statistical analysis so today we will only focus on the mixed effect using this uh, package then the model for the mixed model uh, for uh, this tutorial is we are going to use is this one that means why uh, across ID means why maybe it is your it is planted or any response uh, variable in the eyes as well as in the JS um, in the eyes genotype as well as in the JS block which is equal to M is uh, the grand mean that means the fixed plus GI means it is the effect of genotypes that are assumed to be um, assumed to be random again the RJ means it is the uh, the effect of just uh, replicate that assumed to be uh, fixed then again here is eij means it is obviously uh, a noun that it is a, a random uh, error so our model for the mixed effect for this tutorial is using this one then i already imported my data uh, in order to save our time as you can see here here is our data and it is composed of a genotype per application and the remaining columns are the response variable then I, uh, I give a name here is model then we have to use this function that helps us to uh, create randomized complete block design by considering genotype as fixed and replication as uh, sorry genotype as a random effect as well as replication as a fixed effect so RT means it is our data name so maybe it is different for you and genotype is it is a column that contain our uh, genotypes and rep, which is equal to it is the columns that contain the replication. And here is RSP, it is the response variable. So there are a number of response variables, as you can see in this uh, data frame. So I selected some uh, parameters, or you can even include, uh, for example, if you just remove this one, it will you are going to uh, include all the response variables that you have in your uh, data. So let's run this one. So in order to create the mixed uh, effect model in the randomized complete book design in meta package is the function that you that helps to create such model is this one. Then type this and submit to our studio. Then again, if you want to um, uh, see if you want to get the likelihood ratio test for the random effect you can uh, you can go for you can run this uh, syntax before that let's see the p values for the likelihood ratio test for the uh, analyzed uh, test and all are statistically significant uh, except the planted and here is the uh, ear language and as well as the planted are not statistically significant if, even we, we you can see here is 0 0.051 which is greater than 0 0.05 so it's not statistically significant again uh, here the el uh, or the ill language around it is 0 0.786 which is again greater than uh, the p value that means 0 0.05 so it's not statistically uh, significant so let's back to our um, analysis and the other one if you want to uh, display or if you want to run or if you want to get the uh, the likelihood ratio test for the random effect so you have to use the get model data uh, function then again you have to indicate the model so in our case the model is what we created here then you have to specify here lrt so lrt you are telling to our software to provide uh, to provide you likelihood ratio test for what for the random effect so in our case our random effect is genotype and the replication is considered as uh, fixed so type this one and submit to our studio then it will display you all uh, uh, this uh, uh, lists 
So as you can see here, uh, here is a model, is in a genotype, and here is a variable, it means it is the response variable that's found in our data set. And again, here is uh, n bar, means it is the number of um, model parameters. And here is the uh, log leak, means it is the log likelihood uh, for the model that, you that we build. And uh, this one is a key information criterion. It's obvious I, I, I made a number of tutorials regarding to this, and you can refer. And most of the time, the smallest value is the best. <clears throat> Sorry. And again, here is LRT. LRT is what it is uh, likelihood ratio uh, test uh, Sussex, and DF is uh, degree of freedom. And here is the p value on the chi square distribution. So um, pH again is not statistical significance. Again, EL is not statistical significance, but the rest are statistically uh, significant. So by this way, again, you can uh, create a maximum, uh, sorry, the likelihood ratio test for the random effect. So a random effect is genotype. Moreover, if you want to get the variance component, again, you have to use the get model data, then um, write your model. Model means what we represent all this syntax. So under quotation, you have to use the vcomp. vcomp means you are telling to R to display the variance components. So type this and submit to R Studio. Then you will get the variance component for the analyzed trait. At start with pH, end with NKE for the genotype as well as for the residual. Moreover, um, since we are um, doing in uh, uh, genotypes you may you may you are maybe interested in the genetic parameters so if you want to display the genetic parameters you have to use the get model data like the previous one again I have to indicate it is model then under quotation you have to use the gen par gen par is a short form of for what for the um, uh, genotypic uh, parameters so it will display all the genotypic uh, parameters Yes. As you can see here, the first one is the gen var means uh, it, it indicates that the genotypic uh, variance, and here the pH ED for all uh, analyzed traits will be displayed on this uh, thing. Again, the other one is the res var, which indicates that it is the residual uh, variance, and again. Uh, you also you can also get the phenotypic uh, variance. Moreover, the, here is the gen as well as here is the um, uh, residual variance. That means it is the it is the respective uh, contribution of the variance component to that of what to the phenotypic uh, variance. And again, here also the H square, which is uh, the broad uh, sense heritability. And here also H square MG, which stands for heritability on the entry mean uh, basis. And again, um, here is accuracy. Accuracy means it is the square root of uh, H square MG, or it is the square root of heritability on the uh, entry mean uh, basis. Again, here is CVG. It is obvious it is a genotypic coefficient of variance. And again, here is uh, CV. R, it is the residual uh, coefficient of variation. And again, CV ratio means it is the ratio between the genotypic uh, variance to it is that of what? The residual coefficient of uh, variation. So it will display all these genetic uh, parameters if you, uh, if you run uh, this, uh, uh, if you run this um, code. Lastly, let's see uh, to get uh, the random effect. So in order to get random effect, uh, again, you have to use the function get underscore model underscore data. Then you have to specify the model that we created here, and you have to specify run EF. So this helps you to get the random effect. Yeah. So for all parameters, it will display the random effect in this way. So it is uh, all about uh, today's tutorial regarding to mixed model uh, for randomized complete block design by considering genotype as a random and replication as a fixed effect using methane package. So thank you for watching and don't forget to provide your value suggestion and comment to my email as well as YouTube uh, comment box. Have a nice time.